Hello. So this is TerraTech, and TerraTech is a game where you build your car, and then you shoot stuff. So I just shot someone, and I just built my car, and now I'm going to go over here, and I'm magically collecting stuff. So I hit B to go into my magical uh, ship creation tractor beam, and then I hit B to come out of it, so... And then I also have magical ship create uh, magical tractor beams to suck up resources. I get the resources by shooting trees, and then my magical tractor beams suck them up, and I drive them home. And if I shoot at an enemy, the enemy dies, and I use my other magical tractor beam to grab his parts and attach them to myself. Uh, and all in all, it is what it is. It is an example of the uh, build a car and uh, shoot stuff with it game. Now, Build a Car and Shoot Stuff with It is a fun genre, and a lot of people really love it. And if you like that genre, if you like building a car and shooting stuff, this is your game. Go play it. If you don't like that genre, this isn't your game. Don't go play it. <laughs> but either way, I wanted to talk more about the genre itself. See, as an example of the Build stuff and shoot, build a Car to Shoot Stuff genre, Terratech is uh, quite, quite close to the top. It's quite good. The genre itself is terrible, so Terratech is good at a bad thing. So why do I keep thinking that this is a bad genre? It's pretty straightforward. I don't know if you've noticed, I spent a lot of time building this physics-based car, and uh, then I go around and I do very, very non-physics-based things. None of the things I'm doing are physics-based. I'm just shooting at stuff with non-physics-based weapons, and then running over stuff with uh, magical tractor beams. There's no physics involved in this. So this extremely expensive system they've created to allow me to construct any ship I want, any, any car I want, out of various components, uh, it's actually a very compelling system, and if you shoot an enemy you get debris from them and you can attach it. It's very compelling, but the result is totally non, totally worthless. There's nothing, there's no part of this game uh, that relies on you having a, a well-designed car. The closest thing to it is you need a car that's got good armor plating later on. So I guess you might consider that physics-based, but that's pretty weak. Uh, armor plating is not not inherently a physics-based set of decisions. It's more like a topological-based set of decisions, but regardless, there's not enough physics gameplay to justify the massive amount of work that went into the physics-based car system. So maybe you see where I'm going with this. The genre is inherently flawed because the two kinds of gameplay, they don't meet. Instead of the physics-based car creation thing actually being a physics-based car creation thing, it is a capacity-based car creation thing. I am just balancing out number of weapons, number of armor pieces, uh, that sort of stuff. I will give credit to their AI, though. Sorry, I'm focusing, and I just died. Oh, Well, that gives me time to focus on talking about the uh, the gameplay I'd like to see. Now, I don't suggest that TerraTech change their ways. It's far too late for them to adjust this to my personal tastes. Um, but there are a lot of physics-based game challenges that would go very well with a physics-based car creation system. For just starters, you could do something like... Uh, 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 oh, just spin tires. Uh, forgot the name for a second. In spin tires, the physics-based gameplay is the core of the game. It's a it's a very hard game. You don't have to make it that hard. But the idea is that if you've got a vehicle and you've got physics, the way that the vehicle is going to express those physics is by traveling across space. Uh, in spin tires, case mud. In Kerbal's case, vast empty stretches of gravity wells. Um, Either way, the whole point of the physics-based vehicle is to traverse space. So if you wanted to build a physics-based game where you build a physics-based car and you have physics-based gameplay, that's going to involve traveling across space in some capacity. Uh, 
in both Kerbal and in Spin Tires, they make it more interesting by having phases. So in Kerbal, you launch and you get rid of a phase, 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 and each stage has to be its own balanced vehicle. In Spin Tires, just when you're starting to master the art of driving around an empty vehicle, they fill it up on you, and the physics change. So those are physics-based gameplay options, and I can imagine a version of Spin Tires where you construct a truck. That sounds like it might be fun. Another option is you can make the resources more physics-based. So instead of getting blocks of wood, uh, I would get logs, and I would have to figure out a way to transport them home, not using magical gravity wells, but using some kind of physics-based containment system. So physics inside the vehicle. Um, rather than physics between the vehicle and the world, you have physics of the vehicle itself, and it's affected by the world because it's tilted or moving or whatever. So those are all really fun ideas that I would like to see. The idea of just shooting things and magically transporting things is getting really dull for me. Um, so this is a great example of something I would have loved to see ten years ago, but now it feels dated. Um, and I'm really hoping that we see more of the sorts of things I was just discussing, where your core gameplay elements actually meet in the middle somewhere. <laughs> Not everything has to be physics-based, of course. There are lots of construction systems that are not physics-based, uh, and some of them are really out there and haven't really been explored yet. For example, uh, role-playing game parties. You could have a game where you are creating role-playing game parties, and they have to mesh well, tactically speaking, and that's something that's barely been touched. Uh, you can create things like uh, the internet, where you're building you're putting components, computer networks, uh, sorry, computer servers around the world, and you have to connect them up and use pieces of software and figure out whether you've got enough bandwidth and computation and RAM and all that stuff. Um, there's a lot of construction systems that aren't physics-based, but in all the cases, in all those cases, you quickly come up with the other half of the gameplay. So if you think about it, you know, you see, well, oh, well, if I'm building an internet, then I need to worry about things like how many users can I support? What kind of viruses are running around? Uh, can, I, can I get to the next level of, of uh, you know, wiring across the ocean or whatever? Uh, you quickly start to understand the kind of gameplay that would emerge from that kind of construction system. And it's the same with everything else. If you're building an RPG party, how well that party performs against monsters and explorers dungeons is a major, it is how you would, you know, that would be the other half of the gameplay. But why is it that with car games, where you construct a car, those are the only games where nobody stops to think about what the gameplay should be? Don't know why that is. Anyhow, food for thought. Uh, still, despite my ramblings, Terratech is a fine game, uh, and if you like this genre, I'm sure you'll like Terratech. Uh, I just wish that my imaginary genre existed instead. <laughs> <laughs>